it's good to finally uh, catch up with you guys. I keep missing you here and there, but uh, good to finally be here. It's an absolute pleasure to have you on here, man, and uh, kind of bittersweet, right? I mean, it, it's a great time to have such a nice reunion here, but we've lost a couple of our, the originals. I just wanted to see if you could touch on that for us. Uh, I mean, something as close and personal as you know, losing in Balls Mahoney and Axel Rotten, who I spent countless hours with, countless days, countless years with, in and out of ring, you know, stars and everything. You know, uh, it's a shame. It's a shame and some I'll never get used to and it's uh, something I, I don't think, you know, something that I'll always find unsettling because next month I'll be 43 and Paul's been only passed away at 44. That's just way too young. But uh, it's the nature of the beast, you know, we do unnatural things to our bodies, you know, and uh, in the ring and some do it out in the ring. But, uh, my heart and my uh, my thoughts are with you know, John's wife, Gail, and, and his beautiful son, Christopher. Uh, you know, Paul's Mahoney truly, 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 truly loved his son. And uh, he talked about him at any given moment, you know. And he, he would brag about little things that his son would do. And just a proud father. And uh, that's the... I mean, it's a tragedy we lost him, but that's the true tragedy. And, uh, his son Christopher, uh, beautiful kid, and you know, I just hope he's able to pull through, you know, down the line and realize how much his father loved him because he did. He talked about him all the time, and uh, I'm sure Gail will do a great job continuing to raise young Christopher and uh, you know, live up the uh, the legacy of John Rector, you know because there was a man inside that character. You know, he was a cherished queen and freak, but he was a sweetheart of a, of a human being and uh, somebody I'll never forget. Of all the matches that you've had with these two guys, are there any that stick out or any moments on the road that you can think of out of the thousands of hours that you've spent with the two? Just, uh, Axel Ryan was just so much fun to be around. You know, when he would walk into a locker room, he knew the, the mood was about to become more fun, you know? Anything from, you know, driving down the road and, you know, say the band Hanson would come on the radio and Oombop would come on and he would sing and know every lyric, you know, the Oombop by Hanson, you know, you know, the, this big guy with scars and a mohawk and tattoos, and he's rocking out the Hanson, you know, it's kind of like, a, it reminds me a little bit of like Louis Spicoli back in the day, we'd be in ECW and he would be singing Millie Vanilli songs of all things. But, uh, I mean, Balls Mahoney, you know, when I first came back to ECW, uh, I was a different character. I was a blue boy. Uh, I had lost under 60 pounds, and I was trying this whole new character. And one of my first matches back was with him, and uh, it aired on national TV on the TNN, and I think it was one of my, my, my better matches. It was a match I've watched countless of times. And it's just because I was working with Balls Mahoney, and working with Balls Mahoney is like having an evening off. Uh, you know, a lot of times you stress about, oh, who am I working tonight, and what are we going to do, and is he going to be there for me, and listen. But with when it came to Walker with Balls, you didn't have to worry about that. You know, uh, it was a, we found out about our match an hour before the match, and really didn't say much in the back, and we just kind of went out there and, and did it. And, uh, you know, he, he, he made, Mahoney made, look, made anybody he worked with like a million dollars. Same with Axel. Axel was, his mind is such a, his mind in psychology is so underrated. You know, uh, just to talk with him about business was a learning experience. People think, oh, blood and guts. No, he, he knew psychology, he knew how to work. But when you're given, you gotta do, deal with the hand you're dealt. And uh, you know, that's, the you know, the, uh, the, the style he fell into with the hardcore as well as you know, Balt Mahoney. Balt Mahoney is a, a, a accomplished amateur wrestler. You know, he knows how to wrestle, he knows how to, you know, work. But sometimes you get caught up and you have to do some of the hardcore stuff. But two guys, two hardcore guys, sweetheart, two sweethearts, two guys who all, I, I mean, it really hit me, you know. Uh, I won't lie, I shed a couple man tears about it. And some uh, I don't think I'll ever get used to now or ever. You know, they, they have definitely left a, a positive 
biggest impression on my life. Lumini, I really appreciate those words and thank you so much for taking the time to share them with us. Thank you for having me and I'll see you guys at the match. Credit bill after. Uh. <laughs>